Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stose. When you hear the word power, what comes to mind? Is it you? Do you think about, oh, this is exciting, there's power, there's control, there's lots of energy, I'm in charge. Or do you think, ooh, uh, no, power's not good, power's negative, uh, power's not me. Um, you know, when we think about power, power has a positive connotation and a negative connotation. And so when you think about power, sometimes power is in charge and sometimes that's needed. Sometimes power is, is flow and it's silence and it's moving into what needs to be done. Sometimes with power there's wisdom. And the power with wisdom comes to empowering others. We think about power, there's lots of things that need to be accomplished in an organization, but usually power comes in as a negative connotation and it comes in as ego and self, right? That is not always a, a good thing about power. But I wanna to think today about the true empowerment. Power comes from empowering others. How do we think about empowering people to do what they love to do every day and to make an impact? Because most of the time when we're working towards a common goal, let's think organizationally. First, we really think about long term. When we look to build something, when we look to build an organization, we need lots of people to do that, right? We are building something for a period of time. One person can't do that. That's over and over and over again. And if we don't empower others to do what they do best and do their jobs, that's not gonna happen. That's gonna be a short term and, and it's gonna be temporary. So it's really about building for the long term. Also, when we think about empowerment, we have to think about organizationally, empowerment is expansion. If you're thinking about an organization and how can we expand and make the impact and touch as many people as we can, whether that's mission-oriented or dollars-oriented and financially-oriented, we need lots of people to be spreading our message of what we're here to do. And so we think about expanding, and if you don't empower others to do what they do best at all levels of the organization, it's not gonna last. The third thing about empowerment is engagement. When you empower others and when you give them the freedom to do what they do best and to do it in a freeing environment where they're accepted and where they can make mistakes, that's true engagement. Engagement happens at that time, at that moment. When there's a customer relations issues and you have lots of rules and guidelines and they have to ask questions about everything, it takes away the feeling to the customer at the end of the day. The customer has to wait to get a response versus that employee maybe knowing what's accepted in the organization and what they can do. And so those things, when you think about it, it's building that long-term organization, expanding to touch people and engaging those employees to engage your customers every day. That's true empowerment. That's when it feels really good. So what do we need to do to do that, right? There's some things that you may say, gosh, but I have a responsibility and I own this organization. You do, right? But with that comes a lot of other responsibilities too. You have people to do things and you need to empower them to do their jobs. So what do you do? Well, some of you that have high responsibility, it's really difficult for you to trust. It's very difficult to delegate, but we have to start because we can't do everything ourselves, and we like the freedom too. So let's think about three things what you need to do. One is first you have to trust. You have to know you have trust first with yourself, and second with your people, that you know you can trust people. If you have an issue with trust, you really have to think about why that is. Now that's not going to be always organizationally wide. For you, it's probably going to be one by one you have to think about trust. Some of you have open trust and trust until um, otherwise. So first is trust. Second, if you don't have the right people, you're not going to be able to do this. So the second T is talent. You have to have the right talent in the organization to be able to think about how can I empower people to do what they do best. Of course, if you have expectations of them to do a job and they're not doing it, well, have you hired the right person? Is that the right job for them? Is that the right role for them? You have to have the right talent in order to empower people because when they have the right talent, guess what? They can figure things out on their own. They have more confidence, they're in their zone, and things will flow more easily and effortlessly for them. Third, what you also need to do is you need to teach. So even if you have the right, you trust the people and you have the right talent, it's teaching them, it's standing beside them and, and uh, helping them go and grow as I call it, is that you're giving them some feedback, you're helping them grow, you're maybe helping them um, expand their thinking to a new level. So you have to take the time to teach them. How can you expect them to know something maybe if you haven't spent time with them teaching them what your preferences are? And some of those kinds of things are preferences. If you have a certain way you like to do things, I think we should teach people to do those, but sometimes we don't tell them the why. We just say, do it this way, and we don't say why. And some people need the why. And when they hear that, then it happens, and then it'll continuously happen again. So 
when we think about those types of things, we have to think about now um, what might get in our way. So if this is easy for you, congratulations. Um, you're expanding your organization, you maybe grown your organization to allow others to do this. Um, when you're thinking about what gets in your way, usually it is that lack of trust. Usually it is the lack of confidence in yourself because you are the one that have to have your arms wrapped around everything and touch everything and know everything when really you can't do that. That's not even possible. It's not possible to grow the organization. So it's really you have to step back and understand why aren't you allowing people to do what they do best and who are your best partners. The best leaders um, know what they do best and they surround themselves with the rest. So we can never really think about, I can do everything. We have to know what others can do. And we need to surround ourselves with people smarter than ourselves. So for positive charge this week, when we think about empowering others, um, one, what is power to you? What does it mean? Two, who do you trust? You know, we all have to have a close knit group of people close to us that we trust. Three, who has the talent? in your organization or beside you, and four, how can you teach? So taking that time to teach, sometimes we have to put that in our schedule because we don't have the time to do it. So really true power comes from empowering others. We have so many great people in the world with talent today. We have so many people right beside us who um, we trust and who have great talent, and we just have to give them opportunities to learn and grow. So take some time to think about that for you. And so we know we can make a big difference, but the best difference you'll make is empowering someone personally. Thanks for joining us today. And remember to get your mind on.